Welcome back to this new Pizza Dre tutorial and today we will create a Kit Bash scene version 1. Let's go. So here we are in Blender now and today we want to use this Kit Bash set from Kit Bash 3D. You can get it for free. Let's jump right in. Let's uh, load here um, the scene. Yeah, the first thing which I did is <clears throat> I reduced the texture size of um, the whole thing. So when you export here the zip file, you will get the scene, the blend file and <clears throat> a kitbish textures folder. And I renamed it to underscore big because this are the high res textures with a 4K. And I batch convert all the textures into uh, 1024 by 1024. So it works a little bit smoother. And if you have some problems um, when you're importing um, these uh, buildings into your scene, it may be the problem that the texture size is really high. So um, if you have Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you can batch convert the stuff um, in a couple of minutes. When we are renamed here in this folder and when we are uh, showing the material here now, everything um, should be pink. So that means that the textures are not uh, linked properly. So uh, what we can do is uh, go to the external data, find um, find missing files here and select uh, the folder. And yeah, I want to use the small textures. So let's put this, uh, yeah, let's select here the small folder. Yeah, and here we are now. Um, yeah, we got these cool um, Chinese medicine thing here. Yeah, this marketplace stuff, a cool light and some other buildings. Yeah, let's start here with one scene. Let's go here. We have uh, already here our guy. Let's import here the first thing, which is here this medicine thing in Blender. When you select this, you can see that we have here a, a null, but we have to, to copy and paste this one. We have to select everything and press Ctrl C. Everything is copied, which is in the null object here. So Ctrl C, go to our scene and Ctrl V. And now we can see that here is uh, the building a little bit off. I like to select here the null. So when we are moving this one, everything in this null uh, will move. So I want to center it to the zero. Now I want to put every mesh into an instance because when we are duplicating the stuff, it's a little bit better for the scene. It's uh, not so RAM consuming. Yeah, let's copy here the name and I want to select everything again here. <laughs> the whole stuff, press M, new collection put everything here into this one. The cool thing is now that we can easily go here and make an instance to scene, place it like, like we want to have this and duplicate this one again and it's really smooth. And I will do this with all the buildings we need here for this scene. Now, yeah, I show you which buildings uh, we need here today, which is this marketplace thing here, the light. This building here and <laughs> we want to use this big building here. So I want to go ahead now and uh, copy and paste, paste everything into our scene here. I will be back when it's done. Okay, here we are back now. So uh, let's create here a floor, 15 by 50. Now let's adjust here our camera. So um, let's jump right in here. Zero, uh, minus 6.5 and 1.2. Rotation is 90 degrees. And today I want to go with an Instagram story ratio. So let's go here with uh, 28, uh, 1080 by 1920. Let's go here to the camera settings. I want to go with 20 millimeters and a camera shift from 0.23. Let's go ahead here and bring in our first building. And I want to use here Chinese uh, medicine thing. Maybe let's go here into material preview now. So here here in front is something which should be uh, a neon sign. I think the textures are lost or something like this. So 
let's delete this and what we can do is here select here the model let's search here for the materials and we can see here there's uh, this uh, red light and let's go here into the shading we can increase uh, the emission strength but when we are on EV we have to enable here bloom and let's uh, enable here the other stuff screen space reflections um, yeah let's leave half rest trace on now for now increase the strength here of the emission so now you can see that the Chinese medicine sign is a little bit glowier here but uh, yeah, let's leave it on 15. We can increase here the blue light. Um, let's do the same thing here for the emission strength by 15. So it's a little bit glowier here right now. So what we can do now is disable this one and select it and uh, yeah, select instance to scene. We go back here into the layout mode so we can see a little bit better. Let's kind of rotate this one to 90 degrees. And I want to bring is this to minus four in the X. So we're having here a little bit uh, in this um, thing here right now. And I want to duplicate it because we are having here this cool um, back stuff going on. And I want to um, bring this a little bit to the front. Uh, to the side, sorry, and um, yeah, let's bring this a little bit further to 1.3, so it's a little bit here, so we can see a little bit more of the details here. And now I want to bring in another thing, which is marketplace thing. So let's uh, instance to scene, and maybe let's bring this a little bit back, minus 1.6 to the side, and put it on. 5.5 into the back so we're having a little bit stuff here going on in the back and rotate this to 48 and now we can uh, go ahead and add more details here in the front with the same thing again so um, let's select this one again here and I want to bring this um, 4.3 here on the side minus 2.8 here in the front. Now when we are rotating this one here to 180 or something like this, you can see that we have here some, some details going on. Why not to duplicate this one again and bring this one here over maybe to something like this. You can see that we have here these gas bottles or something like this and tada we have so much details here in the front now I want to add here uh, the light let's go here with the two so it's a little bit off and I want to go here with the 3.4 in the back so it's a little bit here what we can do now um, because uh, <laughs> we having a here our um, yeah, our plane maybe let's texture this one really quick so I want to go ahead here and uh, add here asphalt texture set which is from ambient cg so uh yeah if you have enabled the node wrangler plugin if not as always the node wrangler plugin very useful uh you can search here for wrangler and enable this one and now when we are selecting the principal bsdf pressing ctrl shift and t and i want to use here the footage which is and the asphalt I will put a link into the description. We want to use here um, this normal map, the roughness. Uh, we don't need the displacement and the opacity. Let's leave it like it is. These three texture maps. And let's bring these in here. And let's see. I think we have to scale it a little bit. So scale this one here to four, eight. Sounds a little bit better here. So a little bit details here on the floor. Yeah, I like to bring my scenes a little bit into a wet look. So uh, what we can do here is add a ramp between the roughness. And now um, we can play here with the sliders. And today I want to bring here the white slider a little bit down and bring the black one here uh, over the white one. And now you can see that we are having here some uh, reflections going on. Um, but as always, you can play with this and do whatever you like. And I want to go here to the normal map and bring this to 1.5. We have a little bit more reflection stuff going on. Uh, I want to use an HDRI, H easy HDRI. 
always a good tool here and um, yeah I want to select here in HDRI which is this Shanghai bond let's uh, use this yeah for me uh, I like to turn um, the sky strength down to 0.1 so we are having a little bit um, reflection going on but and yeah some environment stuff here but it's not so bright as you can see let's go ahead here maybe let's go back to the material preview i want to add here some more stuff which is this one here now so let's bring this one in into the scene so maybe let's go back into the camera view let's go here with 26 in the y and maybe let's bring this a little bit over here to the side and maybe let's rotate this to 180 so we're having here this antenna stuff going on and put this here to 21 so we're having this here in our camera view and i want to bring in here the last one which is this high building here the skyscraper thing let's select this one instance to scene let's bring this here really to the back something like 100 maybe let's put this one a little bit over here minus 28 something like 90 maybe to something like this the top of this building maybe i ever show you this uh, we have here some uh some signs and stuff going on and i want to have a little bit more of this glow thing here so let's bring this down here to something like this and we have to go back um to this building here let's see that that's the whole thing select this here this building and now we can see that we are having here a texture which is named banner so and when we are going here into the banner and go to the emission bring this one up and maybe tint is tint this to a something bluish thing and increase the strength we are having here some we are neon signs as well uh, maybe you have the time to add some yeah, textures um, or make your own stuff and can put this one here into maybe let's duplicate this one here again because we want to create a little bit more of the depth so maybe let's bring this to 7 and 80 and 0 here so it's a really high skyscraper and rotate this here 270 let's duplicate this one here again and i want to bring this over to 21 uh, and bring this one back here to 26 so it's more here in the foreground we can rotate this to 180 yeah that's the whole um kit bashing here for the scene so um, everything is on the right place now and what we can do now is do some lightning and add some fog first of all i like to add here um, a light which is coming from the street lights here let's see let's disable here our uh, light or let's delete it here and we can bring in here a new one which is an area light let's uh, let's see if we can we can bring this here uh, down to our street light. Maybe let's go here with a 0.8, 3.4. I think we have to adjust this later. Looks good here right now. We can adjust this. So let's select rectangle. Let's go with 0 0.3, 0 0.17. So it fits here nearly in um, this one and i want to change this here to something bluish here right now and yeah, let's go back here into the rendering and i want to increase this to 250 i want to make a custom distance so because all the stuff is now um yeah brighten up let's go here with a custom distance and let's change the 40 to 8 so it's a little bit better here in the lightning now let's see i think we can bring this a little bit up so it fits a little bit better here in our lamp uh, i want to add here shadow contact shadow so it's a little bit better here on the right as you can see we have a little bit realistic shadows here we are obviously here in eevee um, 
we have to fake a little bit around so um, when we are having here this medicine neon sign I like to add here another light which is a point light and bring this one here to minus one a little bit so maybe let's see here this one let's do it to 2.5 and I think we can add here a little bit reddish color matches here with the medicine Chinese medicine thing thing and I want to increase this to 100 let's add here some fog and the last light now as always let's create here a cube and the cube is really big <laughs> so it's 40 by 80 by 60 and I want to push this one 40 meter to the Y. We have to go now into the shading and we are in the shading now. Let's create a new material, which is the fork. Let's uh, get rid here of this one and let's add here the volumetric scatter. Put this into the volume. Now we are seeing something. That's a little bit more cyberpunkish, I think. I changed something like uh, this one here. I want to go this little bit grayish and put the anisotropy a little bit up to maybe 0.8 to see something like this. We can't barely see here our buildings. And what I like to add here is now another light, which is in sunlight. So um, the, we'll lit a little bit more of the scene and the buildings. So let's add here a sun. The sunlight should be uh, bluish again a little bit blue stuff here for some night vibes maybe something like this and let's go with a strength of two yeah we can change here the angle to point to at point five maybe let's add here the contact shadows as well that's a good idea and i want to go here um, and change uh, the rotation so let's change this to 3.35 uh, and the y to minus 37 and the Z to 3.5 and now we can see uh, that the buildings are not visible to change this uh, we can go ahead here and bring um, this grayish slider a little bit down and when you play with this uh, you can see that we are getting a little bit more from our scene so maybe let's change here from the camera view the passport to, to black uh, so we can see everything here right now if you are having here this little red dot here from our red light you can go ahead here and change the volume to zero here for some contrast we can go ahead here into the color management and add a little bit of contrast um you know, maybe let's go here with a high contrast or medium high i think it's cool you can go of course to um cycles here yeah if you have this problem that you can see barely a little bit um this dot here from this point light uh, you can go here to the settings and change the ray visibility to volume scatter here on EV, um, we can go ahead here and change um, the volumetrics and the tile size to something high and uh, the samples up to 128 and the samples to 2 so the resolution is a little bit better but it will be a little bit slower. Yeah, that was this kit bash scene and if you like my stuff check out my channel. If you want to support me check out my gumroad and Blender Market page, see you there and bye.